Hello, I'm DIY Dick and welcome back to the channel and also welcome to my hallway. So today, as the weather's a little bit iffy outside, what I thought I'd do, and also I fancy to change too, and one of those things I've got to do today is put up a shelf, but not just a shelf, but also put up some coat hooks. And hopefully you can see where we're going to be doing it on the empty wall behind me. Well, it's almost empty. We've just got a few coat hooks there now. So plan is, get them off. Got a new shelf down there. That's one of the coat hooks. Got another four more like it. Let's get them up on the wall. So this should give a little bit more perspective of actually how much wall we've got to work with here. And the first thing I need to do is just find that reference point from which to measure from, just to get everything level. And talking about levels, the great thing to do first is just to look at what's level around you, because sometimes it's quite surprising, things that you wouldn't actually notice, that aren't actually level when you actually really check. So first thing here, the radiator, that's pretty damn level, so that's good. Also as well, the picture row is level, and it's critical, and it's why I'm going on about it, that you understand what all your levels are, because otherwise, if you're not careful, what you could end up doing is putting up a shelf, which is level, but other things around it aren't, so it makes what you've done just look wrong. So sometimes you've got to do things by eye. And something else I'm going to do is use at least one of the existing holes that I've got in the wall from the previous coat hooks. One of the first things to do then is figure out where we want to put these relative to the shelf and basically get those mounted on the wall first but obviously we need to go back to our reference point but also not just the reference point vertically but also as well horizontally relative to the shelf so i think i want to place these here give or take a bit uh, and they'll obviously be underneath the shelf rather than sitting on top of it because that would be silly um, and that should really just give that enough room for the hooks to be individually mounted underneath the shelf I mean bearing in mind the size of the space that we had originally for those three hooks just here so I think this sort of gap here will be absolutely fine for five hooks if we manage three in much less so let's just have a look at the overall measurements of what we've got to work with and uh, about a metre long, I think. Yeah, there we go. So, about 100, well, just over 111 centimetres. So I think if we mount those just a few centimetres in, along those lines, then I think that will be fine. So that's all well and good, but what we need to do is translate that to the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through it step by step, what I'm doing to achieve that. And the first thing is to decide is where exactly you want vertically to position the shelf on the wall. And also as well, what your starting point is. Now, we know here that the picture rail is straight and level, so using that as a reference point, I've just decided an arbitrary amount, depending on what I want to put on the shelf, and just measured down from that picture rail. So that's great, and that covers off where the shelf would be vertically on the wall, but what about horizontally? So we also just need to measure out what the total length of the shelf would be, the overhangs of the shelf itself on the brackets, so we can then work out where we need to then drill those holes for the brackets, bearing in mind what we want to do is reuse one of the existing holes in the wall that was used for the previous coat hooks for one of the new brackets. And I hope that makes some sort of sense. So now it's time after those initial measurements to actually put one of the brackets up on the wall. And all I've just done is actually just put a screw uh, in one of the original holes that I've had in the wall. I haven't drilled anything yet. And it's important to remember while doing this, just to make sure that what you're doing is level from all directions. Now, one of the challenges I did have while doing this, and I, and I found, was that the hole on the bottom part of that bracket was just very, very small. That I couldn't even get a pencil in there. Um, so what I just had to do was just mark it using a nail and a hammer, just so then I could then come back to it and make sure I was drilling it in the right place. And with one of the brackets now effectively planned and fixed on the wall, it's time to go back and revisit all of those initial measurements relative to that bracket, but also as well again back to the picture rail, just to make sure everything was where I thought it was going to be before breaking out the drill and making more holes in the wall. And having done that, there's no reason why not to do a quick test fitting, just to make sure everything's still straight and level. 
So, so far we've really only got lots of marks on the wall. So we need to drill a hole here just for this bottom uh, part of the bracket and also as well another hole over here which is just for this top clip which is really the main thing that holds it to the wall. After all that measuring, marking and drilling, it's now finally time to get everything mounted properly to the wall. And if there were any issues, it was definitely going to show up now. But it's a little bit late in the day, but that's why it's so critical just to really, at each stage, keep measuring and keep checking just to make sure you're on track before actually drilling holes in the wall. And what I did was, um, I actually replaced the raw plugs and the screws which came with these brackets because you never know, at some point in the future, you might actually put something quite heavy on the shelf. And obviously the last thing you want to happen is then for the shelf to start coming away from the wall. So always better to be safe and soft. And certainly no harm over-engineering it just a little bit. With that all in place, all that was left to do was just put some securing screws in place and just do one final level check before moving on to the hooks. So looking at what we've got here, we've got just over 93 centimetres and we've got five of these to fit. So given that the ones in the middle are going to be a little bit more crowded, I think what we'll do is drop the ruler. But after dropping the ruler, we'll pick it up and we'll try again and pretend as though it didn't happen. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll just pull these over a little bit because you've got to bear in mind the size of the base here. And I think that we'll just give these ones just a little bit more room. So I think it's what, 93, so we've got uh, five of these to put up. So that's, yeah, 15 and a half centimetres that we've got to allow. And that just gives the ones in the middle just that little bit more space. So. I've acquired myself a new uh, Peppa Pig pencil, which hopefully is going to prove ideal for DIY purposes. Let's just see if we can mark this up. Okay, now in terms of height, what have we got height? Okay, so that's. 14 centimetres, I think that's pretty good. Should be able to put the coats over there without any problems. So now I knew how I was going to mount the co hooks and roughly where to do it. All I needed to do was measure that out properly, mark it up, and drill those. Pleased with how that turned out, I think that's looking rather good and certainly doing the job that is intended as you can see behind me now. So onwards and upwards, on to the next thing. The only thing that I need to do is uh, put my tools away. Um, however, there'll be more jobs that they're needed for I'm sure in the near future on the channel. So thank you very much for joining me. Please subscribe and I'll see you soon for more jobs and more videos.